Hello guys, welcome to PyChango Tutorials. So as you know, in the last video, we have created our login functionality and register functionality as well. But as of now, we don't have a way to navigate to different pages. For example, if I am on register page and let's say I want to navigate to login page, there's no way for us to do, do that because our URLs are not working. What component do we have to render on what URL? This is not set up in our React project. So this is what we will implement in this video. And I can show the basic uh, intro. I can show the basic workout of that. So if I click on this login, you can see our login component is being rendered here. Similarly, if I click on this register, our register component is being rendered here. And another amazing thing you can notice is that when we click on this login or register, our URL changes, our page layout changes, but the page does not load. So this is the functionality provided by React Router DOM, which we will implement in this video. So if you don't know what React Router DOM, you will understand in the later part of the video. So stay tuned. Uh, another thing is, I know that the page layout does not look good, but we will implement a proper navigation or navbar for our project. But for now, just for the sake of tutorial, we have implemented a basic one. So if I click on this register, this login, our page is rendered and we can navigate to different components. So this is what we actually needed for proceeding on. So let's get on with the video. And if you have any problem or anything, you can just leave the comment down directly ping me in telegram i am available there and i'll try to help you guys as much as possible so let's get on with the video so this is our react project we have register and login component here uh, so we will use react router dom basically to navigate to different component whenever required so very first thing we'll do is uh, install react router dom so what i'll do Kill the server and I'll do npm install react router dom. This will uh, this command will basically start downloading the required files for the react router dom and all the necessary packages which we required for react router dom. So now once it is done to verify whether this has uh, this package react router dom has been installed or not you can open this uh, package.json file and you can see this react router dom version 6.15 has been installed so this is what we need so once it is installed what we can do very first thing we can do is create a navigation component so let's say i'll do navigate.js would be better and inside this div we can give two link and href value as slash home or better is slash register register and second one will be login page so our navigate component is done so what we can do instead of rendering login and register i can simply say uh, here i can simply say navigate because that's what we want to render for the very first time so that's all now if i hit the save button and run our server so you can see when the page is rendered, you can see this register and login. I know it is not styled. So basically you cannot see the proper version of it, but just for the sake of tutorial, what we can do is give a BR tag here. Now, if we refresh the page, uh, actually in React, we don't need to refresh the page. Changes are, are automatically rendered. So we have this register login. So what I want is that when I click on this register, register page should be uh, rendered here and when i click on login login page should be rendered here 
so this is what we can implement next and let's pretend that this is our home page so we already have react router dom installed in our uh, project so let's go to the official documentation i'll paste the link to this documentation in the url so first thing you have to do is import browser router and basic functionalities or basic uh, functions that you want to use so i'll do import browser router comma switch comma route from react router now so these are the things that we need so what very first thing we have to do is use browser router here so i'll say browser router so very first thing we have to do is use browser router component so i'll say browser router and then inside this first thing we'll render is our static component so for every page whatever the page is our navigation component should be there so that's why i will keep it static next thing we can do is use this switch component to basically switch between our extra components such as login register and what not and then we can use route and this route actually takes some uh, uh, props or properties and you can actually verify that here so this basically takes path and what route we want to so this basically takes path and what component we want to render when user comes to that path or that url so we can say path so whenever someone comes to our slash login i want to show the login component basically so whenever anyone comes to this path i want to render a login component so what i can give here login so let's try this then we will implement for register as well but for now let's try this so i'll come to my url okay so this is the error switch was not found in react router down so let's verify that okay so going through the documentation i came to know that switch has been changed to routes so instead of switch we have to use routes so let's change that now if i hit the save button and open so yes so now my project is running so if i click on this login button so you can see i am immediately navigated to my login page if i click on register nothing happens or the empty component is being rendered that's because a project does not know whenever you click on register or whenever you navigate to register component what uh, register url what exact component do i have to render so this exact same thing that we have done for login we have to do for register as well so i'll change this here and now if i click on this register you can see our register page is rendered when i click on the login this login page is rend rendered and uh, everything is working fine but sometimes you have noticed that whenever we navigate from one page to another page does not load in some of the popular websites like youtube or instagram or facebook and that's because these are designed in single page architecture so this is possible with react as well so for now you can see if i click on this login our page is uh, again and again loaded and rendered so this is not a good approach for single page application so what we can do instead of using uh, in a navigate component instead of using this anchor tag we can import 
a functionality provided by React Router, router DOM itself. We can import React, uh, sorry, link, and then we can replace this anchor tag with link tag. Similarly, here as well. And when we are using link tag, instead of href, we have to give two as a prop, not href. Now, if I hit the save button and come to my page, if I click on register, you can see page is not loaded. Instead, the component changes itself. The component render another component, but the page does not load. So this is a very awesome or cool functionality provided by React. You can implement this in vanilla JavaScript as well, but uh, like React has done all the heavy lifting for us. So why implement on our own? So this is very amazing functionality provided by React Router DOM. So if, again, if I click on login register, you can easily navigate to different pages without loading the page. So that's all for this tutorial. In the next, we will implement a design for our chat page basically. and uh, and then from there on, we will gradually start working on our consumers and implementing web sockets and all. So there's a lot of work we have to do. And I know I am not regular enough. And this might be frustrating for many of you, but I am trying really hard to make videos as soon as I get time. So please cut me some slack on that. And Please do like, share and subscribe. I know it's a lot to us, but, but once again, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.